Hey, what's up everybody? Retro Gaming Guy here. So has Raspberry Pi finally managed to resurrect themselves? Have they finally initiated their comeback? The reason I say this is because we've dealt with a shortage on their products now for the last three years or so. They have been prioritizing commercial sales over direct consumer sales for the last two years, I would say. And we have struggled to find as consumers their products at a reasonable price point. And when I say a reasonable price point, if we go back to 2019 or 2020, a Raspberry Pi 4, four gigabyte RAM, for example, was going for 55 bucks. At the height of the shortage, I saw these going for 275, 250 in used condition. So when people were really desperate to get their hands on these, they were paying a ridiculous premium to get their hands on them. And, you know, price gouging, of course, definitely played a role in this situation, um, supply and demand as well. But today, which is June 19th, 2023, it seems that there is no shortage on Raspberry Pi products. Now, I'm going to show you guys my screen here because we're going to go on Amazon. We're going to see what is available, what the stock is like, what the inventory is like, and the price point as well. Now, mind you, like I said, $55 was our price point back in 2019, 2020, and then it slowly started to creep up from there. We saw it jump to, and I'm using the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte RAM as my example today. That is what I'm most familiar with. We saw it creep up from 55 to 65, then 69, 75, 85, all the way up, like I said, to 275 at some points. So, and that was used stock. That was people just you know, paying whatever they had to pay in order to get their hands on the product. So today, again, 619, 2023. I'm going to jump over to Amazon. Here we are, Raspberry Pi 4. First ones are going to be your sponsored uh, ones, of course. But here we have Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte RAM, 82 bucks. Now, 82 bucks is considerably higher than $55, but what hasn't increased in price over the last three years? We can't even get a bag of Cheetos for the same price that we were paying back in 2019 or 2020. Everything across the board has gone up considerably. So 82 bucks, and that's brand new. Down here, we have our used price, $74.57. Now, there's different people selling these. They're not sold directly from Raspberry Pi Foundation. Raspberry Pi Foundation does not sell their own products. They sell to um, retailers or resellers and they have official partners, but there's also some people that aren't necessarily official that are selling, selling their stuff. So we do see a lot of these kits here and I'll talk a little bit in, in a few minutes as to why we see so many kits for Raspberry Pi products. But if we go over here, this is an eight gigabyte RAM version. Now this one, I wouldn't say is you know, a massive amount of stock. We see it only has 12 left in stock. Now, when are they restocking? I have no idea, but there are 62 um, used or other new offers out there. So this is a number that is very high for Raspberry Pi products. We were not seeing that, you know, at the height of the shortage, we were seeing maybe two of these pop up and they were just going off, um, being sold rather, right away. People were just grabbing them up as soon as they became available. So now we can go down here we have eight gigabyte option down here, 104.99. So this one was what, 105? All right, so we have 104.99 down here. Here we have that four gigabyte RAM version again, four gigabyte model B, $93. So this is a different listing than the one up, up here, which was 82. So let's see what the inventory is like on this one for 82. I bet it's less or limited. Um, we're not seeing any warnings here. Usually it'll say, you know, like we saw in that eight gigabyte RAM version that there were only, what was it? 12 in stock, no restrictions. We can come in here. We can buy a hundred of them if we wanted to. Now they may come back and say, Hey, we don't have a hundred of these in stock, but there's no, um, security measures in place to limit the sale of these. So that would give you the impression that there are plenty of these available now, all of a sudden. Uh, and again, this is the $82 price point here for the four gigabyte RAM Raspberry Pi 4. So let's go out. Um, let's see. And I just picked up one a couple days ago. And believe it or not, there was a shortage then. So this was, look, it says here, last purchased June 14th, 2023 for me. Today is 619. So just, what, five days ago? I purchased this, I paid $89, which was also tax included in there. So it was around this price point, but there was like nine in stock or something like that. So now 
just in those five days, it seems that inventory is increasing. So that was the $82 option. Let's go over to that $93 option. Is there a limitation on this one? Doesn't seem to be. It doesn't go all the way up to, you know, a couple hundred, but 31 is the uh, option here. Limited to fewer than 31 for this particular listing here. So again, Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte RAM. Seems that these are readily available. Now, let's go over to the Raspberry Pi website, raspberrypi.com. And we'll go to buy now. And again, they don't sell these themselves, so they give you links to approved resellers. These are not the only people you can get this from, but these are the ones that are approved by Raspberry Pi. So I have always dealt with Chicago distributors. I've bought a lot of Raspberry Pi products for them over the years. Uh, I find them to be the best one. I've tried some of the other ones. We've seen Micro Center is a popular one, of course. Uh, Canakit as well. I'm familiar with all of these, but again, Chicago um, electronic distributors was always my go-to. So let's check out what they have. So you'll notice here it says sold out. Now, I'm going to show you guys. Let's just type in Raspberry Pi 4. And you're going to notice that, let's see, they're going to show us what they have in stock first. Um, let, me let me limit this more so we get, there we go. So Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte RAM sold out, just like the 2 gigabyte that we just saw. And um, you'll notice that it says sold out. We'll click on it, verify that it's sold out. But they have the kit available. Inside the kit is a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte RAM. The reason that you're seeing so many kits and bundles like this, and we're seeing them here on the actual, um, you know, approved retailers' websites, but we're also seeing them over here. Yes, they have the single boards on Amazon, but you see a whole lot more of these. And this one is from Canakit. This is a extreme kit, 128 uh, gigabyte edition. And it comes with cables. It comes with a cooling fan case, cooling fan, heat sinks, uh, power adapter, looks like a USB adapter, micro SD card, all that stuff. Same deal over here. Uh, the kits obviously are gonna vary from um, you know distributor to distributor, but the reason we see more kits is because there's not a whole lot of markup that these retailers or resellers have on the actual boards themselves. I'm not sure what they get them for, but if they only make a few bucks selling these. Um, Raspberry Pi doesn't give these away to resellers and, and you know sell for 50%, and then, they, then these guys come in and they make another 100% on top of that. Uh, it doesn't work that way. They're not doubling their money as resellers. So the amount of profit just selling the boards is minimal. So where these resellers can make the majority of their money is in the extra stuff. So in the cooling cases, in the cooling fan cases, this one's not a cooling fan case. This one just has, it's well ventilated, but the HDMI cables, the uh, power adapters, the heat sinks, the SD cards, they can make their money, you know, a few bucks on each of these. And in the end, in a bundle, they end up making probably, I would guess, I don't know, 40 50 bucks maybe on each on each bundle depending on you know what's included obviously Canakit's charging a whole hell of a lot more uh they do have a cooling fan there though but other than that i mean it's it's pretty comparable to what chicago distributors offers so that's why we're seeing these resellers or um retailers hyping up the kits you know they're not going to waste their time selling just the actual uh, board itself, they're going to bundle it together and try to squeeze out, you know, a little bit more profit off of the add-ons. So if you're going to the list on Raspberry Pi's website and you're going to their official resellers, you're not going to be able to get the board themselves. You're going to have to get a kit, which in all honesty, it's not a bad deal here. 119 for the extra stuff that you get really isn't that bad. Uh, but if you have all that stuff and you can get better ones than this, you can get a cooling fan case uh, for probably 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. If you piece all these together on Amazon, you're probably going to end up spending slightly less than that $119.95. You might get better quality stuff as well, but it's not you know outrageous or offensive by any means. Um, but if you want to get just a single board, you'd go on Amazon and the prices really aren't that bad considering, again, just how everything in life these days seems to be more expensive in 2023 than it was in 2020. So 
We don't seem to have those shortages on inventory anywhere in here for the most part. Even on that eight gigabyte one, yeah, there was that 12, limited to 12 one there, but there's also this one here. This one has no limitations on inventory here as well. So definitely seems to be improving. Now, hopefully Raspberry Pi, if they are putting more stuff out there to direct consumers, hopefully they're able to still build some interest in their products because I know a lot of people have moved on from their product line because they couldn't get them, because they weren't readily available or they weren't reliable. And maybe they aren't reliable still. Maybe we're just in a sweet spot right now where they are easy to get. But, you know, who knows what it's going to be like two weeks from now, two months from now. We could be back into another shortage. Um, so, you know, for that reason, I think a lot of people have moved on from using Raspberry Pis in either their products or in whatever, you know, they're trying to do, whether they're retro gaming or they're coding or they're building some new innovative uh, invention that incorporates a Pi computer board into it. You know, they might not be building them around Raspberry Pi products anymore. Uh, I'm on the retro gaming side, which is obviously the least important side in Raspberry Pi's eyes anyways. Um, it's purely recreational for us that are gaming on them. But, um, I mean, even I have moved on. I've, I've found some great options with mini PCs, uh, which have more capabilities and obviously do, you know, do get priced higher than a Raspberry Pi board, but you get so much more performance out of it. So let me know what you guys think of what we're seeing here with the inventory and the lack of a shortage right now, anyways, with Raspberry Pi products. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the uh, thumbs up button on the video if you enjoyed the content today, but that is going to do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.